Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day to all. I'm Ahmad Koyun Fikri bin Ahmad Jazimin. You can call me Koyun with metric number of 200359. All right. So today I'm going to present about lab one in microprocessor course. And yeah, let's get to it. All right. So what is the test? given to us. Let's see the test. So, the test is test 1. Step into program SEO slash addition to understand the changes in registers content. And number 2, using the understanding in test 1, write a program to average 85 numbers using RISCV assembly language. Note, a scalable program is better than a hard code program. So the deliverables format, uh, yeah, we need to screencast a video demonstrating that the program runs successfully and the function as to average numbers. All right, so that is what I am going to show with you today. Here we go. This on the screen, I have each set of lines. Alright, let's get um, into the definition of what the code actually means. So we have three um, data variable. Um, so the first one is ADDI. ADDI, as we can see here, forms an addition on both the source registers contents and the immediate data and source the result in the destination register. So um, this addition operation, it uh, store the data, uh, it, added, it added the data uh, immediately. What it means is that we can actually add the value here, like in the bottom, we can see um, there is no value, but instead it is a variable. So if we actually find ADDI, um, we can just straight away use the value here, right here on the third one. All right. Um. So that is for ADDI meaning. And uh, let's get to the next um assembly instruction, which is add. So uh, the add instruction adds together its two operands, storing the result in its first operand. But yeah, take a note. Whereas both operands, operands, yeah, may be registers. At most, one operand may be a memory location. Okay, so basically, um, this um, statement that we are going to do today is actually adding the variables like x1 plus x2, something like that. Oh, by the way, on how we are using this, this is the output. Uh, the, the first the first variable is the first output for example the first line here x1 is uh, the output on the left side on the right side uh, oh yeah, on the right side then and uh, second line x2 is the output and the third line actually is the output on the fourth line x4 is the output and and up until down here uh, x8 is the output all right x5, x6, x7, yeah, the same thing is uh, the output. And the input is here, the remaining two data on the left, okay? Um, so yeah, let's get to the program though, okay? Is this recording? Yeah, it's recording. All right, um, so let's see. If we run this, let's put the speed into um, 150, yeah, let's just um, we run this and let's see what happens. So, by the way, before I run this thing, we in um, microprocessor um, the in this application in this website application, we have several steps. We have fetch, which read an instruction from memory. Secondly, we have decode. Uh huh. It decode the current instruction. And the next step we have e ALU, which stands for Arithmetic Logic Unit. It executes an arithmetic or logic operation 
And next one is compare, execute a comparison if a decurrent instruction is a conditional branch. Alright? So um, on the right side here is memory slash register. So it write the arithmetic logic unit result to a register or store data to a memory location. And the last one is update the program counter. Uh, all of this is inside here. All right, let's see the animation that we are uh, going to see right after this, right after I play the run button. All right, let's start. Let's run though. All right. Oh, is it too fast? Yeah. So it is actually yeah. Flash decode Aldo compare. Flash decode Aldo compare. Memory location register PC just like that. Let's uh, make it um, fifty so we can see it um, slowly. So this is what happened. Oh, I need to reset this. Okay, hold on. Reset and let's run one more time. Okay, so from here the data is uh, this is the flow. You can see from bus go to instruction set, uh, register and we'll go up here and it go inside the registers and it give back the feedback here. Um, and yeah, this is um how the microprocessor were working inside um yeah inside the component all right so okay so what is happening on each line actually let's get to it all right so as you can see right here x node on line one is zero yeah because we let that become zero because it's the first initial number um, let's get on the first line, right? So A D D I uh, X one X no X zero and nine. So basically, you are adding zero plus nine, and we get here nine. Okay. On the next line, we have A D D I X two X one and eighty eight. All right. So we actually add a X one and eighty eight, and we get X two. So on here, we get 61. How we get that number? Okay, remember, all of this number here is written in hexadecimal, okay? So, in my calculator, 61 hexadecimal, here, when we convert it into uh, decimal, it becomes 97. And when we compare on the left side, all the number here is in decimal, okay? On the right side is hexadecimal. So 88 plus 9, if we add manually, it will equal to 97. So it's the same thing. Isn't that magic? Alright, so let's get on the next number. Uh, X3, uh, 6E, alright. If we actually put 6E inside our calculator, and when we convert it into the um, uh, decimal we get 110 when we add on the left side here x2 plus 13 so actually we are adding um, uh, the number of the previous it's the same like uh, the previous one okay um so 97 97 is the new value for x2 um in heck in decimal and we add with 13 in decimal and we will also get 110. Okay, so that's the explanation on how we get on the left and the right side. So, um, that is really cool, right? Alright, marvelous. Okay, the uh, up until x7, the value is 1 for a, alright? 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. 1 for A. So in hexadecimal, 1 for A is yeah, like this, 1 for A. And here, as we can see here, uh, on the line number 8, uh, X, X8, X7, and 2. So X7 here, what are we doing is actually we divide X7 with 2 to the, two to the power of 2. Alright, so 14A divided by 4. Alright? So that's why we get 52. Alright, that's how we get the final answer here, 52. Alright, I think, yeah, that's clear about um, this part. 
and I think that's all from me. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye bye. Assalamualaikum. Thank you.